What's this? Where did you find this tortoise? Let's check what's in the Pokeball. We have three items. First, we have a school. A dragon. And finally, a volcano. Do you want me to make a diorama of Charmander in this habitat? Okay. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today, with the help of my tortoise, I'm gonna build a diorama of Charmander. We got aluminum foil, plied and steel wires in here. And let's do some magic. That's our Charmander, and I will add more clay outside. Some shaping is necessary for Charmander to look more muscular. Let's smooth out all the details and working for the legs. Take a guess at what I'm doing. That's right, I'm rolling this to create the dragon wings. This does not fit, so I will remove the extra part. I'm adding the wing bones and try to make it stand out. By making the head details like the tongue, nose and the eyes, I'm creating the rough appearance. With the horns added, it represents the evolution of Charmander level 3. In the animated version, Charmander has a pretty smooth neck, but I think it makes it too kind. So to make Charmander more rough, I will cut the neck and make it more flex. I want the tail to be flammable, but I'm using wax polymer clay in here. So I will remove the tail and replace it with a different material. Please stay tuned till the end to see a pleasant surprise. Finally, I just need to wrap the wire around the tail. Let's add more tones for a more flawless look. Now we are done with the back, let's repeat the process with the front. And I will do the claw nails. In the original cartoon, it has 3 claws, but in here I want to update it with 4 claws. This flick creation and carving requires much meticulousness. It took me a whole day to do this. I'm 
work on a crop to skin details and brush away the extra clays. I'm really holding my breath in to attach the teeth. I hope these do not fall off. Otherwise, it's time to paint the black lining paint. This is a mandatory step, as this will help the dragon color process comes out the best. Then let's paint the signature orange of Charmander. For the inside wings, I will paint blue to make it opposite with orange on the outside, just like in the original cartoon. With Charmander looking good now, it's time to make the side characters. The side characters here are also from Pokemon. Do you really like this flower bud? That's right, it's Kubasaw Generation 1, when it does not reach full evolution yet. Let's call more of its friend to here. Look what I summoned from Pokeball. Do you guys know these characters? There's some more black and orange paint over there. It's unfortunate that they are burned by the lava. Now I will sketch the scenario of volcano eruption. I will create a slope with two sides consisting of a higher and a lower side. Otherwise, let me plaster with water to imitate the volcano surface. The volcano surface or the magma rocks when being cooled down will be black, so I'm applying paint all over the base. Finally, I'll paint more red and orange to represent the lava. This is the first time I'm mixing and pouring orange apple seed. This is really new and I'm really excited. Now I will elevate this end to create a diagonal pattern for the slope. I'm gonna pour some more red epoxy layer in. The idea is to create fierce lava rivers. And now unlucky side characters will be drowned in the lava rivers. Sorry guys. Let's make some more magma rocks and let them float on the lava river. Time to remove the mold and clean out all the extra apple seed. To make the volcano base more realistic, I'm gonna burn the little cheap brands. Then looking at this, this does look like getting burned from the lava. This electricity wise will create the lava effect for later. 
I'm asking for my friend's help with connecting the electricity wires. It's crucial to put on the insulating tape for enhancing safety. Wow, it does look like Saber Blades in Star Wars. Finally, it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see the pleasant surprise that I had mentioned earlier, shall we?